Hello YouTube, and with the little bit of stuff I've been doing and knowing, my machine I'm making, and uh, my voice acting career that I'm letting people get a chance to go through, I have been working on uh, auto exe config for uh, Counter Strike Source to help your games run better if you're running on a very, very crappy computer. Now, my computer is a desktop. And uh, my computer runs, you know, great on all games. But I've been working on a config file to increase the FPS for low end users that have 3 gigabyte RAM or less, or probably even 1.3 gigahertz or less on their processor. So, um, here's my uh, auto exe config that I've been working on. Now I will go ahead and say this is probably going to make your graphics look terrible, but I'm very, very sure that's going to increase your FPS. Now I'm going to be doing a little bit of test to show you what my FPS is like before and after. Uh, so I hope you enjoy my config because I'll upload it soon and. Yeah, we'll see how good it works on your guys' computer. So, I'll teach you how to install it. First, first off, you're going to go to your C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, your username, Counter Strike Source, Counter Strike, and you're going to go to Config. You're going to paste it in here. Then I'll teach you how to remove it later if you don't like it. But I'm going to run a couple of tests to show you how much FPS that this thing gives you. Now guys, I would have uh, showed you the huge difference of this config file put inside your, uh, you know, program files, Counter-Strike, Counter-Strike config on my l crappy laptop, which lags badly on all games, so you can see a huge FPS increase, but, but since my computer is a gaming computer, you're not really going to see that much increase on this config file except on that test as you saw not the game test but like the FPS test that I got now I'm gonna show you how to remove it in case you ever wanted to you're gonna go to C program files Steam Steam apps your username Counter Strike Source Counter Strike config and you're just going to delete the auto execute done that's how you remove it hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to comment rate subscribe and i'll see you next time bye